Hey Pisces, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of August general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was In the Meantime by Mary J. Blige. Now, Mary J. Blige happens to be a Capricorn, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn, someone rising Venus individual. Or if you are single, you may end up meeting someone in Capricorn season. If that is the case, that makes a lot of sense with the title of the song, In the Meantime. So if you are not to meet this person until Capricorn season, which is December, January time frame, the message that I get is they're telling you, and I looked at the cards after I finished shuffling, and it makes so much sense. They're telling you, um, take some time for yourself. Really focus on starting goals, because one, it's about action, um, tenacity, for movement, take some time for yourself, take a break, okay, pull back from certain things that were stressing you out or causing heartbreak because of the four swords, three swords are hovering over him, three swords, heartbreak, sorrow, sadness, and grief, so take a break, pull back from things that are giving you heartbreak, start something new because you're in your head a lot about a situation, but after you come to this, this energy of clarity, you're going to boss up, so pull back, take a break, retreat, and prepare for your boss up, prepare for your glow up. You see how this city is glowing beneath him? Prepare for your glow up is what they're telling you here, okay? So let's see what we get for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the moon. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for those cards, okay? Currently at the bottom of the deck, yeah. In the meantime, just look, you can't be trying to look for answers for certain things. And that's not to say that you shouldn't ask for clarity because she can't see clearly with the wings over her eyes so they're not telling you not to ask for clarity in regards to a situation especially when it comes to matters of the heart but it's like you may seek those answers and never get the truth anyway because sword up is yes and sword down is no especially if you if you were dealing with an air sign gemini Libra, aquarius or a um earth sign specifically capricorn they may not have told you the truth anyway or they will never tell you the truth there's things about this person that are hidden and they want to remain hidden here is what I'm getting as well. Someone also, I just, you know how you turn your head to kind of like pop it. I also heard like somebody needs a chiropractic um, adjustment. Because I literally just paused for a second so I could just adjust my neck area. And if you notice, all she has here is her neck. So someone could be holding tension in her neck. Also someone's throat chakra. You see how it's glowing right here? Somebody's throat chakra is being activated or they need to focus on their throat chakra. Speak your truth about a situation. You also want to hear somebody's answer as to why they did something to you. Again, with those swords down and it's crossed at the bottom, I don't think they'll ever tell 100% the truth. I don't think so. Okay. So let me shuffle. Yeah, see? Woo, come on now. Y'all can't make this up. You have two of swords to three of swords. Hello. Somebody broke your heart. Definitely could have been an air sign or something could have happened in air sign season. Either Aquarius season. Aquarius season is... um. February, March time frame, and Gemini season is um, May, June. Give me one second. Let me plug this up. The battery is about to die. Okay. So, yeah, somebody could have, um, <clears throat> you could have had a breakup around that time. You're still dealing with that energy there. And it's like, just like the title of the song, and I want you to listen to the song. Again, if you never heard it, the name of the song is In the Meantime by Mary J. Blige. In the meantime, it's like, okay, in the meantime, in between time, what do you do? How do you heal? You focus on you. Not focusing on being in a new relationship. Focus on you. If you've been single for a long time, you can be like, girl, shut up. Hey, I feel you. I get it. Because we are never meant to be here alone. We all are meant to have a partner. And if you don't think that's the case, then I don't know why you're watching Love Reading. Because you know I'm going to tell you the truth about it. But we're none of us are meant to be alone. Sometimes we are alone for extended periods of time because we need some extended work. Within us, we need to be in harmony mode for an extended period of time. And some of you guys have been in harmony mode for an extended period of time, or you will be, or, you know, you're, you're currently on that path right now. But whatever the case, they're saying, like, focus on you because something's getting ready to take off. Something's getting ready to take off. You're getting ready to be in boss mode. You already had the emperor. And I'm also going to say the emperor that we've seen in the beginning, the emperor is one half of a divine counterpart. Every time you see an emperor, the empress is never too far behind, vice versa, same sex, same sex, however it resonates for you, which means your person isn't too far behind, but it's right now, you need to be in hermit mode because it's stuff that you need to do alone, okay? 
So again, we're going to get the moon, the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And we'll get clarifiers for those cards. Yep, see what I say? Nine of Pentacles, single woman, single man. So they're saying you need to be alone right now. But some of you guys will have options. She has three roses there. And of those three roses, one is standing out. Some of you guys will start dating again. Some of you all will definitely start dating in Virgo season as you do have the Nine of Pentacles. Virgo season is in um, September. You have Pentacles here. Some of y'all will end up dating a um, September Virgo also. Seven of Swords, lie, cheat, manipulate, sneak, connive, or some type of deception. I told you, if you ask this person the truth about why they did you a certain way, they're not going to tell you the truth. Now, this for some of y'all, I feel like this energy is coming up so strong because you may have someone from your past who is coming back into your reality. You know why? Venus, retro, great. We will be in it until September 3rd. This person came back full of shit still. Even if you look at the way his the back of his shirt is up, it's full of shit. It's a bunch of shit right there. You know, this person is a liar. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna tell you the truth right now. You know, and, and we'll do it with a straight face. And look how his eyebrows are kind of arched too. It's like this person kind of gets off on it, like you know, being manipulative, being sneaky. It's just something about this person that I'm getting like, don't trust this person. Somebody from your past, don't trust them. And then also, don't look for clarity from this person because they're not gonna tell you the truth. This is lies. Could have been with this person for seven plus years. The relationship could have ended in July. You or this person could be a life pair for a personal year number seven. Somebody could have a strong seven in their birthday. Outside of the month of July, if that's not the case, it could be this person could have been born on 7th, the 17th, or the 27th of any given time. So again, we want the moon. Card that comes before and the card that comes after for Pisces. And I almost said Scorpio. And look, we stopped the Scorpio. Some of you guys can be dealing with a fellow water sign, specifically a Scorpio. Someone rising Venus in the visual. Okay, there's the moon. It's trying to slide past me. And what I tell y'all, y'all not, you're not too far away from a union. Okay? So right in front of you, you got the dang on emperor again. Now also, I feel like some of you all are getting ready to boss up. Like, even if you want love right now, I feel like, if, especially if you're single, you, you want this type of, a specific type of love. Right now, that's how you focus on your Benjamins. Okay, three of pentacles working, building, establishing something because you're getting ready to get some type of pay increase, some type of promotion, title change. Look at that. Queen of pentacles, I'm telling you, you guys are getting ready to boss up. Your money about to be everything but funny. Shoot, if you start laughing, you're going to be laughing on your way to the bank. I'm trying to tell you. Within the next three weeks, you got something very significant coming in. Also, some of you guys could be dealing with a March Aries as well. Bottom of the deck, justice. I'm telling you, things are balancing out in your favor. Karmic justice. Um, again, I'm going to say, in the meantime, focus on balance. You see those scales right there? Focus on balancing things in your life that are going to make money. You know what I'm saying? If it don't make money, it don't make sense. And I'm not saying money is everything. That's not what I'm saying. But they're saying, like, focus on that. Because you, you're getting ready to make some major plays right here. You see he has this scroll right here? That's his game plan. He has that hatchet ready to execute it. Some of you guys have been working on something for a long time, and it's starting to bear fruit. It is starting to bear fruit. This is There's no tree here, but for some reason, I'm seeing a tree, and it's like he picked these coins on a tree. You know how they say money doesn't fall off trees? It is in your hand. Like, money's going to be falling in your hand. Literally, he has a pinnacle in his hand here. She has a pinnacle in her hand here. Like, money is about to be laying in your lap. Some of you all have already been in this energy like, okay, if I can't find love, I can't find fulfillment with my stability in my monetary life. Again, and I'm not saying that money makes you happy. It's just being stable has allowed you to have a certain lifestyle so that when you do come into contact with your person, it's, it's going to be like reciprocity. It's going to be all about balance because it's, you're, it's not, you don't need this person. You want this person in your life. It's not a need, okay? It's part of the deck. Somebody's going to be coming in quickly. You got two energies that are associated with Libra here. So some of you guys can definitely be doing a Libra. That's Libra. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. And remember I said, if there's an air sign, woo, an air sign, be, be mindful about what an air sign has to say to you. Because I don't know. It just looks, see? Look, you're not telling the truth. Sword up is yes. Sword down is no. This is a major icon. A major icon trumps everything. So this person is not being truthful with you about something. Or they won't be, so be mindful. Don't say the queen didn't warn you now, child. Six of swords, they take you in the wrong damn direction. Especially, I'm telling you, an air sign or somebody that you ended things with in the air sign season, We the only air sign season we've had so far, because we still have Libra season, right? And we just had Justice Libra. Um, The only air sign season we've had already is Aquarius. Again, February, March, 
I mean, I'm sorry, January, February for Aquarius season. And then Gemini season, May, June. So again, Aquarius, January, February, Gemini, May, June. And you do have six of swords here, June. So if during Gemini season in June, I feel like this person took you down the wrong path or they, they led you astray. In other words, like this person may have, um, was stringing you along and you found out and you may have pulled back, you know, you may have found out about that or you're finding out now. Cause again, Venus retrograde, things from the past come back to the surface. Okay. Someone's first and last initial could be T E P E R O. I'm getting two E's. Somebody's nickname is easy. Someone has um, some type of spiritual tattoo on them. Could be like moon phases or a sun tattoo or is thinking about getting something like that. P, I'm getting a strong P for sure. Pierre. Priscilla. Princeton. And also just heard Pentecostal. That may resonate for someone as well. So let's go clarify for the emperor. Well, damn. Okay. You seen the flip that sideways, so I'm going to take it as this. So the ten of wands carrying a heavy load, carrying a heavy burden, and reverse is dropping it sideways. It's like I'm almost done with this heaviness. I'm almost done with this heaviness. Now I can boss up. That's what I'm saying. They're telling you right now you need to be in hermit mode. You need to be focused on you so that you can boss up. Because see, sideways, you see how I landed up there and I moved it here? He's walking towards this emperor who is a boss, who is stable. Okay? This is a stable person. Bottom of the deck, two of pentacles, juggling, uncertainty. Two talks about choices and decisions you have to make. Um, needing to balance the situation. I'm going to say again, something with the air sign. Even though it's pentacles, that Roman room two looks like the Gemini symbol. Could have been something that happened with a Gemini. Some will rise in Venus person or Gemini season. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody has some decisions to make. I'm hearing for the love of money. Who's in that? Bone Thugs and Harmony and Easy E. And that's why I said I heard somebody's nickname could be Easy. I just heard Big E. Somebody's nickname is Big E. Let's get a clarifier for the three of pentacles. And pentacles just made me think about Pentecostal. Somebody is like tapping into their spirituality or religion in order to help them heal a situation, heal from something. Let's get a clarifier for the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles. Clarify for the three of pentacles. Okay, you seen it flipping and landed right on top of that, huh? Okay. Ten of swords. See, look, you got the two. <laughs> You have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Ten is in numerology is an ending. Something, you know, it's not an ending, it's done. Like something's done. Like you're done dealing with things that betrayed you. You're done dealing with things that, you know, make you feel like you're not good enough, that make you feel exhausted, that make you feel overwhelmed, exerted. I like this because they're saying like you're using, focusing on everything else in your life. And that's not saying like you're not dealing with it, but it's like you're using work life, um, your stability focus on your future you're using that to help you heal from this so you're not just in a dark night of soul just thinking about sadness grief depression all the time you're putting your energy into you something that you're building he has that hammer there you're focusing on what you're building for your future is what you're doing here because you don't have time to entertain drama five of wands conflicts arguments disagreements let's see what's at the back of the deck and then you have the um look so you got the five here, Roman V5, and then you have five here. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Taurus. My, my crown is tingling, and it's tingling predominantly on my um left side. So for some of you all, there could be something very significant with the left side of your face, left side of your head. Someone could have a um significant amount of piercings in the left side of their ear. I know I have 10 piercings. I have seven in one ear and three on the other. Don't ask me about it. That was a high school thing. <laughs> and that's interesting because I got 10 all together. Seven and three. Wow, that's interesting. You got three here. Yeah, so somebody could have three holes in their left ear. Um, I'm also getting like, for some of you all, when you get spiritual messages, for some reason, it goes on the left side. If you think about it, when you hear something like spiritual, they always say to sit at the right hand of God. So on the left-hand side, if it's not God, then it must be the devil. For some of y'all, you feel like you were listening to temptation and it led you in the wrong direction when it came to this person or you didn't listen to the warning signs in regards to this person and it led you to feel betrayed, left you betrayed. I feel like, you know, you're, you're coming back whole. You're, you're coming back, you know, stable. Pinnacles of stability. You're stepping back in your king and queen essence, your king and queen energy. And you're focusing on you. I feel like you're focusing on multiple things. Your health, your money, your family. Okay? 
no longer focusing on this energy because that's done. That's the past 10 is over. It's over. It's done. And so for some of you guys, definitely something because you do have two tens here. There's, there could be someone very significant in your life who is a October Scorpio, October Libra. And also, if you are single, you could be meeting your your person, your long-term person in October as well. Because see, a bright that's still carrying a heavy load, carrying a heavy burden in reverse, you know, putting it down. But sideways, it's like, just when you're coming out of the cycle, now you're meeting your person. I'm getting that also. Now that you're coming out of a certain cycle, you're going to be running into your person. Because you, you, this is, the universe is saying, work well done. Now you're meeting your person. And now, you know, this connection is getting ready to come full circle. Okay, so Pisces, Summon, Rising, Venus, and the Visuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification button, and until next time, take care and be well. Bye.